Halloween is a spooky fun time of the year. It's a time filled with lots of creativity and card making is one of my favorite crafty things to do. And today I have some unique Halloween card making ideas that you can make with very few supplies. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I will share two Halloween card ideas featuring torn paper and some wiggly eyes. By the end of this video, you will have two spooky fun Halloween card ideas that you can make simply by tearing some paper and adding a few wiggly eyes. For the latest card making ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Are you ready to make some spooky fun Halloween cards? Then type spooky fun in the comments below and let's get started. Card number one, the mummy card. So in order to make this card, let's talk about the supplies that you will need. First, you will need a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of basic gray cardstock. You will score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of your card. Next, you will cut two pieces of white cardstock. The first piece will be five and a half by four inches. So this is the piece that we will adhere all of the torn paper to. The second piece of white cardstock is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. This is the piece you will tear to create the mummy tape for our card. You will also need the Spooky Sweets stamp set or any other stamp set that has a fun Halloween sentiment. You will need some black or dark gray ink. You will need a sponge, some wiggly eyes, a bone folder, and a scissors. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to start by tearing the five and a half by four inch piece of white cardstock. So we are going to tear the top and we're going to tear the bottom. Next, we are gonna take the larger piece of white cardstock and we are going to tear it into little strips of paper that are roughly one inch in width or less. Now tearing paper is not hard, but there is a little technique to it. I tend to firmly hold the paper in one hand and then slowly tear the paper with the other. I make sure to keep the paper tight as I'm tearing it. In order to achieve this torn look on both sides of the pieces of tape, we need to flip our cardstock over as we're tearing. So the first piece I tore you can see that there's this torn rough edge. Now I wanna flip it over and I wanna tear the next piece. That way I have a torn edge on both sides. Once you play around with the tearing technique a bit, you will see how easy it is to create some awesome effects on your cards. Now for the sponging effect. So you wanna take your original piece of cardstock, the one that we tore the top and bottom off of, and we wanna just sponge some color up on the top. And then we'll flip it over and we will sponge some color on the bottom. Adding just a bit of color to the edges of the torn paper is a great way to create a worn or antique look. And since we are making Halloween cards, the worn look is perfect for an ancient mummy. So simply ink up your sponge, take it along the edge of your cardstock, the torn edge, and just sponge a little bit of color on there. And now we will sponge color on all of our strips. You can see how the sponging gives this a nice accent along the edges of all of the tape for the mummy. Now that we have created the mummy tape, let's put the card together. So the first thing we're going to do is adhere the wiggly eyes. Next, we're gonna add the torn paper around the eyes. So we're gonna start at the top of the five and a half by four inch piece of white cardstock. 
we're gonna layer the one inch mummy tape strips across the cardstock. We're gonna let the ends of the strips hang off each side of the cardstock. We will cut them off after the layering is complete. Now that we have achieved the desired mummy look, I'm gonna flip over the cardstock and trim off the excess pieces so they are flush with the side of the card. For the finishing touch, I'm just gonna stamp a little sentiment on one of the strips of the mummy tape and adhere the entire piece to the front of my gray card base. That's it. Card number two, the Spooky Eyes Bat Card. This next Halloween card involves just a little bit of paper tearing, but it has an awesome effect when you add the wiggly eyes. So let's talk about the supplies you will need. You'll need to cut a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of basic black cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of your card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of the bat pattern paper from the Toil and Trouble DSP pack. Cut a one by four inch piece of the star pattern from this DSP pack. You will also need to cut a one and a half by four inch piece of crushed Curie cardstock. You will need some black three and an eighth inch glittered organdy ribbon. Cut out a small shape from a piece of white cardstock to stamp the sentiment on. You will need a paper piercing or stamping mat, your bone folder, and a scissors. And don't forget the wiggly eyes. You will need six of them. Start by creating the bottom part of the card first. Adhere the crushed Curie cardstock and the one inch star DSP pattern papers together. Tie a bit of black glittery organdy ribbon around the cardstock. Double knot the ribbon and trim off the excess. Stamp a sentiment on the square shape and adhere it to the right side of the ribbon. Now adhere this piece to the bottom of your designer paper. Next, lay the five and a quarter by four inch piece of the bat pattern DSP on your piercing mat. Make three small horizontal slits in the DSP. Use your scissors or an X-Acto knife to make the cuts. Use your fingers to tear the paper and make the hole big enough for the wiggly eyes to fit into. Once you are satisfied with the holes for the wiggly eyes, adhere the DSP to the black card front. Next, adhere two wiggly eyes in each of the holes that you created. Scrunch the paper around the wiggly eyes. And that's it. Now you have two spooky fun Halloween card ideas that you can make simply by tearing some paper and adding a few wiggly eyes. Just think of all the fun cards you can make with this paper tearing technique and of course with those wiggly eyes. And if you enjoy card making, be sure to visit my website and check out this month's featured class and club projects. You can find the link below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the tips shared here today. Have fun getting creative. Take care, and I'll see you soon.